guys, uh, welcome to another episode of Power Rangers Show, and uh, I'm your host, King Dean Creek. So on today's show, we'll be taking a look at um, some more Power Rangers RPM. Um, so on today's show, I'll be taking a look at one of the um, enemies in the series, Power Rangers RPM. So let's uh, get to the video review. Power Rangers RPM. So here we are uh, with another episode based upon Power Rangers RPM. Um, now I'm taking a look at another character um, in the wave. Evil uh, Grinder. Um, this is one of the enemies in this series. I don't know how many enemies there is. Um, but this is probably the only one enemy that I've probably noticed in the series. Um, on the back, the packaging, as you can see there's um, the Throttle Max uh, Power Rangers as you can see. So Throttle Max, uh, Red Ranger, Blue Ranger, Light Ranger, and Green Ranger and Gold Ranger. Um, I have the black but I don't have the others. But, um, anyway, main point is that um, in the wave, on the back here, as you can see, is Grinder, and looks like he can combine another, uh, another weapon for the Power Rangers. Um, I'm not quite sure what that is. Looks like another robot thing. Um, as you can see, the back, the card, it's just the same as all of the RPM series. Got the Bandai logo here, and um, the 4 Plus logo, and a nice picture of the, of the three Megazodes. So, um, Evil Grinder. Let's open it up and take a look. A closer look at Evil Grinder. So we're back with Evil Grinder uh, from the Power Rangers RPM series. Um, I've only just opened it up um, a couple of minutes ago. So let's take a closer look at the figure. Get a close up. So, um, as you probably notice that there's uh, not very much articulation um, as the figure goes. Um, it's about five inches tall, by the way. Um, the articulation it has at the head it can go up and down. Arms go in and out, set up and down. Um, swivel there and the kind of the glove wrist thing. In and out, um, backs and forwards. Got a swivel joint there, the upper leg, and same for that. Um, peg holes for the feet, and no waist joint. So it's kind of limited um, in articulation, and it's kind of limited to accessories as well. Um, the only two accessories you get is this helmet, which is very nicely detailed, by the way. Um, and also, you get this sword looking thing. Not really sure what it is, but it's kind of like a sword blaster, I guess. Um, I've not watched very many episodes of RPM, but um, as you can probably see, it does stand up very nicely and um, the face, I just wanted to mention that the face is kind of this um, purple color and um, got this gold like a, a full eyebrow or something, I don't know um, it's probably like a robot you know, I like the colors that makes like, you got the gold, bronze, gold 
and a kind of grayish silver and the face mask you know you got the gold and the silver there as well and the yellow yeah, the bronze kind of color um, it does fit over his face apparently just like that if it's over his face um, looks kind of good actually it's about five inches tall um, or six inches tall So, okay. But, um, you know, it's been a while since I've seen these available. Um, looks like his sword fits in that the whole hand. Um, in this one. It's kind of meant to fit in this one. The detail on this uh, figure is pretty nice. Um, it's been a while um, for villains. You know, I haven't bought a villain in ages. Um, not since I got uh, Daishi from Jungle Fury. That would be that was the last um, villain that I had or bought. Which um, I did a video review of Daishi, um, but for a cool figure, um, I definitely recommend him. Um, uh, the RPM ranges are really cool looking, and I don't know, just they're so different in a kind of way. There's all different versions of them, uh, of the rangers I have. The Throttle Max Black Ranger, you've probably seen it, which um, I did a full review of all of the rangers as one thing, not them individually. But, you know, this figure is really cool. It doesn't come with very many accessories, not, uh, not as much as the rangers do, separate. But also you could get a five pack set, a box set where you get all of the rangers um, in the set. But you know, this figure's not a lot of accessories I can say, but it, is, um, it looks really cool and the articulation is cool as well. So I definitely recommend you picking up Evil Grinder. Um, Especially if you want some more evil space aliens, I guess. For your parents just to fight. And, um, you know, evil grinder. Definitely recommend him. Um, you know, he's definitely going to go on the shelf um, on the cabinet. A bit, uh, you know, standing aside David Hawks and Daishi. So, you know, I definitely recommend him. Um, very cool figure, very nicely detailed. Kind of like him. So, um, you know, the price of uh, these RPM figures um, kind of, you know, gone from like six ninety nine, like seven pound, right down, you know, in Europe, you know, um, right down to about four ninety nine, kind of like a fiver. Um, but you know, very cool figure. Definitely recommend him. And you know, if you need any more enemies, <laughs> you can count on Evil Grinder to lend a hand with with Diva Talks, Daishi, and any of the other enemies that have previously got released in the Power Rangers series. So yeah, that's my look on um, Evil Grinder. So any questions just put them on the video, you know, like a comment or on the channel or as a message as well. Um, if you got any questions about any other Pounders series, please do. Um, so thanks for watching, take care, I'll see you very
soon for another Power Rangers review. And yeah, Evil Grinder. Awesome. So, uh, very interesting review, uh, video review on Evil Grinder. Speaking of Evil Grinder, I uh, mentioned that it does come with a helmet, which is removable. Um, uh, I probably didn't mention that you can take his helmet off, but it does come with one. And as I showed you in the video review, it does go on really nice and snug on his face. And I'll talked about detail, um, you know, articulation and stuff. Just so much going on with this figure. Um, you know, just your basic evil alien. Um, just definitely recommend it. So, you know, that's the look on RPM. Um, yeah. So, um, you can check all that out on the website on Cute Anime Figures um, TV, um, which the website's on the credits, and also it's on the side on my YouTube channel, Cute Anime Figures TV. So check all that out on there. And the video review will be online and on YouTube as well. So, and this is. Um, Episode 12. So, 12 episodes. Wow. You know, so, um, definitely check out Power Rangers RPM and also um, check out all of the other video reviews I did, or uh, done, on um, My Morphin and other series, the Power Rangers. Um, I'll be back with another. Pounders video review verse. Mm. So take care. I'm King Dean Craig. Thanks for watching. Uh -huh.